And then sweats. And then sweats. Well, there goes nothing. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the bedroom! So excited to be here today filming my first faves video of the year. It's been a couple months since my last faves video, so I'm excited to show you a few things I've been collecting and loving over the past couple months. Let's dive in! Item number one goes to my new Ravens! Yeah! I got these from my secret Santa. Shout out dad. Great job. <laughs> I have these in that reflective copper flash style and I love this shape so much. I thought that black and gold would be such a classic staple, if you know what I'm saying. So I've been loving these. I literally wear them every day. I love how light they are and easy to put with everything. I could go on. They've been coming with me everywhere. Mules! <laughs> I got these mules at Target and I have been obsessed with them. They go with everything. They're black, they're pointy. The brand is A New Day and they've been killing it at the Target. Gotta say, I have been adoring quite a few of their things lately and these are no exception. Why don't I just abbreviate every word? <laughs> uh, talk about a staple. That's it. <laughs> Favorite cardigan time, ready? Uh, if you're familiar with my Instagram, you may know about this sweater. Because <laughs> I use it. Use it? I wear it all the time. All the time. When do I ever not wear this? Um, never. <laughs> These are on sale for 40 bucks right now. I will leave the link below because there are so many other cute colors and I love this. I'm just going to slip it on. I love it. The balloon sleeves. Come on. Hello. I love the color blocking and the fact that even though it's like kind of a specific burnt sienna camel color with like purple and orange, this goes with everything, surprisingly. So it's been a non-stop situation. I am tempted to get the gray one just because of how often I wear this. So we'll see how that goes with my <laughs> temptation. This is extremely oversized. I got an extra small and it goes down to the back of my knees. Also take into account that I'm five feet tall. So that would make sense. I have another sweater from Urban and it's this ribbed navy blue turtleneck and it's very fitted, a little cropped. We all know how I feel about my midriff, so <laughs> gotta keep it on lockdown and this does the job. I just love the way that this fits. It's super flattering and comfortable. It's another one of those, I might get it in another color situation, but we'll see. I think that this is so darling. It goes with everything. I love things that go with everything. Do you see a theme? I feel like I will have this for a very long time because of how classic it is in terms of shape and just general design. Ugh, I love it so much. How's that? Can you get a good idea? My first makeup fave of the month goes to Glossier's Cloud Paint Blush in Puff. It's so pretty. I didn't know what shade to get and I'm so glad I got Puff because it's a really pretty light pink peachy shade and it just it seems so bold online but it's so light and buildable and just easy and I can guarantee this will last me a year because of how often I wear makeup and it just worked out really well and I'm really glad I got it. 20% off, Black Friday weekend, that really worked out well for me. <laughs> a little bit goes a long way, and I love everything about the color, so I won't be turning back anytime soon. In that same evening, <laughs> I picked up two of the Generation G matte lipsticks, and whew, these are favorites, obviously. <laughs> I got Zip and Cake. Zip is a really pretty bright, bold red color, but it's so subtle if you want it to be, and that's what I really love about this because I'm not really a super bold lip kind of person, and layering Zip with Cake, which is a really easy nude color, is perfect for me. So it ends up being a really 
natural looking light peachy orange color and I love that. Highly recommend these not only because the formula is awesome, they wear off well, but the colors are fantastic. I would take a peek at the others because I'm about to get down on that. <laughs> I have another makeup fave this month and it's the new Urban Decay and Kristen Leanne collaboration and this eyeshadow palette is so good. It's such a perfect intro for me because I'm not a big eyeshadow person. I don't wear a ton of makeup every day. I want to show you but I also don't want to blind you. I love these so much. They're so natural and easy and pretty and Lucy and Daydream are my jam. These two together are insane. Lucy in the inner corner is just a really bright, pretty, neutral, I wanna say white. It's practically white, but it's not, it's a very creamy white. And then Daydream is more of like a warm camel color and it's a dream. I love them, they're so cute. Great palette, love these colors, so natural and pretty. Rekka. Men. I have a wedding fave this month as I am planning nuptials for this year and it's the Some Kind of Wonderful Wedding Planner notebook from Beholden and this is just so stunning in person and it's been so helpful. It has the best notes and lists to go by in terms of your big day and I just I've been using it so much and it's just gold and gray and pretty and soft and I just can't even, can't even tell ya. Can't even tell ya. <laughs> Very excited. I look forward to filling this up with everything on my mind and more details to come. I have a very special tea bag this month that needs to be recognized. It is Tazo's Glazed Lemon Loaf Tea Bag and it is dessert. It's dessert. If you have a craving for something sweet after dinner, but you want to be good, this is your answer. It's been my answer. I only have two left, and I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> it says, an enticing herbal infusion with notes of bright lemon and creamy vanilla. Sign me up. I love this. Love it. It tastes exactly like a lemon loaf, glazed nonetheless. My last fave is truly a life game changer. There is no exaggeration here. This is up there with my Casper mattress and top products in my life. I've been using these since Christmas Day. This was another Secret Santa. Shout out dad for the second time. And they're my Apple... AirPods. I can't even tell you how much my life has changed by using these. That sounds so silly, but I am home all the time. And to have something that's wireless and I can leave my phone in my room, which is my other last favorite of the past couple months, is just leaving my phone somewhere and not touching it for three or four hours at a time. That's been great. But the fact that I can wear these, walk away, and just listen to an audiobook or a podcast or music, and tap it to skip ahead or tap it to pause. You take it out and it pauses automatically and then you put it back in and it starts playing what you were listening to. And they're just so convenient for taking calls and just everything for running. I can't even explain how convenient that's been. It's just one of those things where you don't know how you lived before this. If you've been thinking about these, I highly recommend. They don't fall out. I've heard so many people ask me and say that they've heard that they fall out all the time. They don't. They've never fallen out. Maybe you have to have a certain kind of ear. I don't know, but they've worked for me really well. They charge with my phone charger. They are a dream. I cannot recommend these enough. Number one wreck of the video gotta say. All right, my friends, that is a wrap on January favorites. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. I will see you so soon. And I hope you have had the best beginning of a new year that you've ever had. If that didn't make sense, and I don't know what does. Still wearing my sweats. See ya.